Bene, adesso vorrei invitare a parlare il professor Mugil dell'Università San Secondo di Casablanca, eh, sollecitandolo anche eh, su questo tema, se per esempio eh, l'attuale rapporto tra la Banca Centrale Europea e le banche eh, centrali dei paesi del Mediterraneo, come eh, viene visto e se da lì può venire un ulteriore aumento di sviluppo dall'attuale o da una diversa politica monetaria della Banca Centrale Europea? Grazie molto e buonasera a tutti. Spero di essere breve e di parlare di due domande. Una di queste è di dare informazioni information about the Moroccan economy and the financial system. Uh, as an example, for uh, the comparison of country of the South uh, Euro Mediterranean and Europe. The second question is uh, about a few thoughts on the cost of factor and the central role of uh, capital in the development and the growth. And uh, it's linked with the North and South Mediterranean cooperation. So with this uh, chart, we see that the economic uh, growth in Morocco has uh, reached a uh, better level than the last decades. In the second one, we show the link between the the synchronization between the, the economic cycle in Europe and the economic cycle in Morocco since the last few years. What I want to sh show also is the composition of the GDP. And uh, what is important to, to note is the tertiarization of the economy, or in uh, other words, the decrease of the part, the, the share of the industry, which is now something like 30%, 13%. The labor market, just one idea, is the population is uh, young, so the, those aged between 15 and 35, 34 years represent 40% of the population. About the foreign relations, Europe is very important in the external exchange of Morocco, 60% now, uh, for 46% 10 years before. And uh, what is interesting is to note that uh, this progressive liberalization is uh, thanks to the, some agreement that uh, Morocco has signed, and one of them is with uh, Europe, but it doesn't uh, improve the tra trade balance. I think it's uh, reached the, uh, the remark of uh, Professor Jefferson about the the free trade agreement, which are not all the time good for the developing countries. Alors, just two ideas about the financial system, concentrated, even if there is uh, 19 banks, but three of them do more than 60% of the deposit and credit. I want to talk a little bit about the microfinance, which is a new activity in Morocco, but uh, what is interesting is to note the perspectives of the, the products that they offer. I mean, uh, financial inclusion with the microassurance and so on. And now some uh, conclusion about this paradox, which is the economy globally is undebted, undebted if we see the general uh, credit over the GDP. In the other hand, we have 
the banks, the, the company who has access to banks are over the debted. Uh, what I want to talk about now is the, the central role of the cost of capital in development and uh, the idea is it's important to understand that uh, what the country of South Mediterranean needs is not flow of capital money, but uh, uh, flow of human capital to improve the using of the uh, forced labor that we have. In this paper, we demonstrate that the cost of capital is the main constraint for uh, investment in uh, human capital, so this, uh, the solution should be that uh, South Mediterranean countries uh, benefit from uh, human capital from the North country. I want to talk about the question of uh, Mr. Uh, Cheperson. What do you think about the, you said that uh, one of the problem is the lack of solidarity in the euro system. The, is it possible to say that uh, the other question is the monetary policy and the budget policy must be parallel? So I want to thank you very much. <laughs>